Mr. Chairman, at this time, I'd ask for unanimous consent to include in the record a video presentation describing how President Trump used the lies he told to raise millions of dollars from the American people. These fundraising schemes were also part of the effort to, to disseminate the false claims of election fraud. Without objection, so My name is Amanda Wick, and I'm senior investigative counsel with the House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Between Election Day and January 6th, the Trump campaign sent millions of fundraising emails to Trump supporters, sometimes as many as 25 a day. The emails claimed the, quote, left-wing mob was undermining the election, implored supporters to, quote, step up to protect the integrity of the election, and encouraged them to, quote, fight back. But as the Select Committee has demonstrated, the Trump campaign knew these claims of voter fraud were false, yet they continued to barrage small dollar donors with emails, encouraging them to donate to something called the Official Election Defense Fund. The Select Committee discovered no such fund existed. I don't believe there is actually a fund called the Election Defense Fund. Is it fair to say the Election Defense Fund was another, as I think we've called it a marketing tactic? Yes. And tell us about these funds as marketing tactics. Uh, just a topic matter for, uh, where money could potentially go to be, how money could potentially be used. The claims that the election was stolen were so successful, President Trump and his allies raised $250 million, nearly $100 million in the first week after the election. On November 9, 2020, President Trump created a separate entity called the Save America PAC. Most of the money raised went to this newly created PAC, not to election-related litigation. The Select Committee discovered that the Save America PAC made millions of dollars of contributions to pro-Trump organizations, including $1 million to Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows' Charitable Foundation, $1 million to the America First Policy Institute, a conservative organization which employs several former Trump administration officials, $204,857 to the Trump Hotel Collection, and over $5 million to Event Strategies, Inc., the company that ran President Trump's January 6 rally on the ellipse. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing. The evidence developed by the Select Committee highlights how the Trump campaign aggressively pushed false election claims to fundraise, telling supporters it would be used to fight voter fraud that did not exist. The emails continued through January 6, even as President Trump spoke on the ellipse. 30 minutes after the last fundraising email was sent, the Capitol was breached. Every American is entitled and encouraged to participate in our electoral process. Political fundraising is part of that. Small dollar donors use scarce disposable income to support candidates and causes of their choosing, to make their voices heard. And those donors deserve the truth about what those funds will be used for. Throughout the committee's investigation, we found evidence that the Trump campaign and its surrogates misled donors as to where their funds would go and what they would be used for. So not only was there the big lie, there was the big ripoff. Donors deserve to know where their funds are really going. They deserve better than what President Trump and his team did. And Jamie, uh, committee member Zoe Lofgren used the end of today's hearing to talk about how much money the Trump campaign raised off the big lie. She calls it the big ripoff. And, and she said that members of the Trump family were benefiting from the scheme. Uh, after the hearing, I asked about I asked her about it. Take a listen. For example, we know that um, Guilfoyle was paid uh, for the introduction she gave at the speech. I mean, on January 6th, she received compensation for that. But is that a, is that a crime? I'm not saying it's a crime, but I think it's a grift. Kim Guilfoyle, uh, obviously Donald Trump Jr.'s fiance. Right. Um, what role does the money from the big lie play in this investigation? I think this is a critical part of the investigation. There was a team called the Green Team, and it was just to go after this, follow the money. I've spoken to people about this. 
they don't know where it goes as far as could there be criminal charges. But there are real questions here, Jake. $250 million that was raised. And one of the things I was told by a source close to the committee is they hope that Trump supporters understand that not only was there a lie here about election fraud, but to add insult to injury, uh, Trump and his allies came and took their money by plane.